Over the weekend, the latest Fortnite mini live event saw Doctor Doom finally show his face on our island. Standing 200 feet tall and wearing Pandora's armor, Doom arrived to defend his Molten Forge from attack by Hope and the Avengers. Their plan was simple, to use Tony Stark's Rift Beacons to send Doom and all his toys back home, just like they did the last time a Marvel supervillain tried to take over. You did it! Thank you, bus driver! In less than one hour, the community did over two trillion damage to the giant, forcing him out of our timeline. And whether you loved the event or found his demise a little underwhelming, let's break down how this event changes our story forever. But first, here's a cinematic version of the event that I won't ruin by talking over. See you in a minute. Powering up. Almost there. Power holding steady at 50%. Powering up. Almost there. Last beacon is online. Minus five, four, three, two, let him have it! <laughs> How is it still standing? Those who dare stand against me will pay the price! But Shuri thinks that will be enough if we can significantly weaken Doom. Doom is defeated, leaving only his oversized mask behind, and the rest of him is sent back into his own reality. The mask being half buried here is a callback to something that already happened this season. Cast your mind back to the days of the Wanderer. 
Doctor Doom was revealed to be that mysterious figure who whispered to Megalodon and eventually double-crossed him, blowing up his pipeline to reveal the return of Pandora's box. From day one of the season, Doom attempted to take that power and make it his own. But surprisingly, even he was not strong enough to do that. His armor was destroyed in the attempt. And that is the reason why Doom began to forge new armor. It was always his plan to harness Pandora's box. Some of us were lucky enough to try on that armor and feel like a god for 10 minutes. Yet eventually, Doom perfected his design and finally had the armor that could wield Pandora's box and the power of the Greek pantheon. Doom became unstoppable. Before this, he already defeated the Fantastic Four, Galactus and Thanos, and now he has even more power. Before this event, I thought we did not stand a chance. And that's where the community differ on their opinion of the Doom event. Some saw it as a cool power fantasy that the Loopers can defeat anyone that dares claim our island. But then there's other people, like me, who thought, if I'm totally honest, Doom was far too easy to defeat. Defeat. After over a month of build-up, forging godlike armor, only to be defeated by 40 minutes of gunfire. Was this really the guy who made the thing his throne? The man who tore Johnny Storm's heart out to heat his own bedroom? Is this really the guy who bested Galactus? Maybe I'm overreacting. Anyway, wherever you stand on the story element of the event, a mass community boss fight is technically amazing, and over 5 million players saw Doom's arrival. And most important of all, Doom is still alive, and with a month of the season left, he could very well return to the island to complete his plan. But this is Fortnite, and things move quickly. During the battle, Doom's fart cloud destroyed all but one of Stark's beacons. And three of those remain on the map right now. Over at Grand Glacier, Restored Reels and Brawler's Battleground, they sit dormant. But are they? As something is sprouting around, vines and pumpkins are growing. It appears the Rift Beacons are still in use and are connected to another reality. We may have already seen this realm before. Think all the way back to the end of the last chapter a year ago and the zero point blooming into life. One of those realities we flew by was a spooky Halloween world. It's safe to say that reality has already begun to claim parts of our island, and in seven days the spread will continue, leading us to this year's Fort Nightmares. The key art reveals the pumpkins will grow to extraordinary sizes, and the vines will engulf each of the POIs, not to mention the countless crossovers coming including Saw and Leatherface. And the thing is, we still have a month of the season remaining and it's unsure if Doom has been yeeted off stage to make room for another Marvel villain. Doom's undead nemesis, Mephisto, is in the Fortnite files, and leakers have said that we'll be able to offer him our own life force in return for items, or even bringing back fallen teammates. And on top of that, following Fortnite Mares, we're going back to an OG season, inspired by Chapter 2 and the days of Midas and the Flood. There is a lot of content coming in Fortnite. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves and rewind back to Doom's event. His demise brought up a question, and it's all about Pandora's box. Here is my question. Who has Pandora's power right now? We know Doom forged the armor to harness Pandora's box, and as Doom is forced into the rift, we see Pandora's energy, or what looks like it, actively pulling him into the rift. So that leaves us with two options. One, Pandora's box reclaimed its own power by pushing Doom away and returned to the box, but it still seems dormant right now. And the second option, Pandora's energy is now trapped in Doom's reality, giving him the chance to control it and plan a return to our island. This chapter's storyline has a lot of unanswered questions to get through. And as we move towards chapter 6, something monumental must happen to end the saga of Pandora's box. And if you've read any of the Greek myth, it usually means a sacrifice. And I've narrowed it down to two people. It's either Jonesy or Hope. Who will make the sacrifice? I'm Adam. You're awesome. It's been a pleasure. See ya.